So what do we do about this, you asked? We first must become educated. And I would uh, say that the quickest way for people to become educated is look at these very simple source documents. Look at the Quiet Weapons Silent War document. Look at the Iron Mountain document and the New World Order Exposed, 1969. They're all on our website, stopthecrime.net. Of all the research we have done, if you just get those basic documents understood, if everyone understands the fraud, then we will be able to eliminate this. We don't have to go on with this fraud. We do not. And people keep saying, well, there's more of us than them. Well, that may be true. But sadly, now, there are technologies that are so um, unbelievable that people won't even realize what hit them. And that is the strategy of the future wars and the wars that we're facing in our country. But I would say everyone needs to look at the NASA document. You need to move from the illusion the non-reality that you are living in, you need to move into a new reality formed by the, the truths that these documents convey. So that then from those realities, then you can look at solutions. You can't shoot from the hip and look for solutions if you have not learned who's doing this to us, how they're doing this to us, and the documents that tell us how they are doing this to us. Like the Truman Show, which was designed to create a false reality for entertainment, the false reality we have now is designed to kill us. This is, this is a war against the people. This is why that tabloid came out, prepare to die. And they're doing it in so many deliberate ways in which those documents show that it's been in the works for a long time. And you not only see the individuals, which can be kind of identified with the Bilderbergers, the Trilats, and Skull and Bones, they are in the saddle. They are the ones determining policy. The scientific advisor to the president of the John P. Holdren in, in charge of the chemtrails. We have <coughs> MITRE with the former head of the CIA directing all these branches of, of government. We've got guys like Leon Panetta, which is the head of the CIA in the Department of Defense, moving our armies over to NATO and moving without a constitution. This is a direct war against us, and we see people dying like flies now. And like you said, it doesn't have fingerprints on it because of the methods that they're using, but it's as real as people getting strokes and cancer and autism and, and Alzheimer's. It's so clear. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the stats, the mathematics prove the point. And so they have to know, people have to know what's going on and to strategize to fight it. And they can, because the only way they're getting away with this is by the lies. And if you, if you sort of come to the, the mass media, the three networks and the two wire services, you, you're never going to get out of it. Well, it actually says in the document, in the NASA war document, that they will use uh, mass media propaganda. That is uh, prevalent. CNN syndrome, is that? Yeah, that's that one is? of the things that they call it, but they... They're literally going through this document. Oh, they're going to also use explosive dust opportunities. Um, they talk about uh, how, oh, the dust will infiltrate deeply into buried and other such targets. They're saying in here, too, if, if you move, they can see you and you're dead. So the technology, oh, sensors in everything. There is an amazing mission statement that I found on PSI um, technology out of the Carnegie Mellon Institute. And the mis mission statement stated that they were changing the global infrastructure to that of uh, computers and technology, and that would include our entire structure, not only utilities, but civil, uh, government uh, policies. And what is also very interesting, uh, we went to uh, Al Gore's recent book review. He wrote a book called The Future. And he talks about how uh, artificial intelligence is going to take over and that we're going to see changes within the United States that have not been seen in 500 years. And he talks about how um, uh, it's just not efficient to continue with humans. The same thing. These all tie in. They all tie in. 
we have a think tank that is plotting and scheming against humanity because they believe that uh, it's too frail. And they also talk about um, uh, let me pause for a second here. Oh, they talk about the U.S. Brain Project, and it begun in the 90s. They say that it was funded by 16 organizations across five agencies. NIH, which of course is the National Health Institute, the Department of Defense, NASA, and the Department of Energy. And uh, they talk about how uh, they have over 10,000 individual presentations at annual meetings for the uh, Society for Neuroscience. And essentially, they have redesigned humanity. And there is a fascinating uh, life story of a, f a fourth generation clone called Michael Prince. And that is on our website under the NASA document link. And I urge everybody to listen to this, um, this uh, interview with Michael Prince. He was killed in 2011. And he is a fourth generation clone. The levels of technology, the length of time that they've had technologies are unbelievable. What they also say in the Iron Mountain documentary is that they will control the educational system, that uh, they will uh, replace the education system with computers. They're saying that in uh, the NASA document too. Everything will be telecommuting, teleshopping, tele-entertainment, tele-travel, tele-education. This way they can rewrite history. Everything will be on Kindle, and it'll be very easy to change books, to change the language. Recently, I was listening to a weather report, and the reporter said, it will be sunny tomorrow, but I'm calling sunshine now a soft sunshine because the sun doesn't shine like it used to. I mean, that is what I'm saying. The reporter didn't say that. But the reporter now is saying a soft sunshine. They're rewriting our definition of what a sunny day is supposed to look like because we're under the constant vellum of this secret, non-existent, uh, atmospheric poisoning of our skies. So they're rewriting our vocabulary. They're rewriting everything about us. And they're keeping us so sick uh, from the fluoride, from the aspartame in the food, all of the dyes and chemicals on everything. I mean, even the receipts that we get from filling our cars with gas are poisonous. We shouldn't be touching them. And so we need to navigate. Um, I, I say that life on a daily basis is like trying to walk through a landmine field. And if you get to the other side at the end of the day, you've made good choices because they've certainly put and placed landmines in our lives. Yeah, it's hard to avoid, really. I mean, The impact that it's having on our lives. That we should be sitting here right now having this conversation because of what has been orchestrated against us. Our futures are being determined for us. Our life spans are being decided upon. It's fascinating information. Um, so the best way to get access to all this is StopTheCrime.net? StopTheCrime.net. It links to our other websites as well, which is uh, SmartMetersMurder.com. We have invaluable YouTube videos up on SmartMetersMurder.com. There's a series done by Barry, B-A-R-R-I-E, Trower, T-R-O-W-E-R, uh, who is a scientist out of the U.K., and uh, talks about the weaponization of frequencies as it relates specifically to the wireless, and in particular, the uh, vast deployment throughout America and other countries as well of the cell phone towers. They're erupting everywhere, and they're disguising them as trees. They're disguising them in church steeples. Even when you drive through the desert, they're disguised into yuccas, and that is a cell phone tower. They're also, this is very interesting, they're putting them in, in mobile oil signs in gas stations so you don't even see them. 
Now, when you look, if you're really aware of spotting cell phone towers, uh, my grandchildren can spot them a mile away. Uh, but you can go to shopping centers where they have landscaping and, and the uplights amongst the landscaping, and you'll see many uplight standards that are disguised cell phone towers. And you don't think of it. You're just thinking that it's lights within the parking lot and they're actual cell phone towers. And they're in church steeples as well, aren't they? Yes, they are. And they're paying uh, schools to uh, put them on their campuses. Right now, uh, there's a newly discovered cancer cluster at uh, San Diego State University. And there have been uh, a number of students and faculty that have have gotten brain tumors. Mm. So we are in a takedown of frequencies admitted by this document. We have the proof. We have the military, the agencies that admit to this. We don't need to prove the deaths on the campuses near towers because it says towers will be used in this in, on page 98. It says that towers will be used uh, to emit frequencies. So again, uh, this is their document. This is what they tell us on page 98. A typical scenario. Take down of the U.S. by 10 people and $10 million. Binary biologicals, imported vitamins and clothing, the food supply will be poisoned. Terror attacks with um, uh, vaccines and with um, viruses. Uh, They talk about uh, our railroads will be attacked. Selective anti-personnel with um, radiation frequencies, microwaves from the towers. The water supply will be contaminated uh, via intercontinental unmanned vehicles accompanied by serious psywar, and that's the CNN syndrome. So they're telling us here how easy it would be to take down the United States with these new technologies. We've got to expose this. Thanks so much for all this information, Deborah Tavares, and we will check out your website and try to make this go viral and get it out there. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much.